Sometimes when making a game, you want to know the distance between two different points, be it the distance between one object and another object, or just a point in your room and another object. You can use this for things like range or whatever else comes to mind. To set this up, I've got our circular player object I keep using, and I simply have two different functions that we're learning, distance to object and distance to point. These functions are going to return, in pixels, the distance from our bounding box to the bounding box of the other object, or the bounding box of the point in the room, which is just one pixel. Distance to object requires that you give it an argument, which is the object you're looking for. So I'm saying distance to object, and I've chosen object box. That's this red box over here. You can also use an instance ID if you want to look for a very specific instance of an object rather than all objects. I'm storing that in a variable called disObject and I'm going to draw that to the screen. Distance to point, I'm looking for the center of the room. So to do that, I've taken the room width divided by 2, that'll give us half of the room, and room height divided by 2. So our x position, you'll see it down here, distance to point needs an x and a y. Our x is halfway through the room and our y is halfway through the room. That's the middle of our room. And I store that in this point. And I'm going to draw that out to the screen as well. So let's hop into the room and see what it looks like. So as you can see, I've got two red boxes in the room. And I've got a red dot denoting the center point of the room. And then I added a little bit of a crosshair the top number is the distance to the nearest box in pixels, and the next line is the distance to the center of the room in pixels. So right now, the distance to the center of the room is zero. I'm already there. And if I only move around a little bit, it still says zero, because it's looking for a collision. My bounding box already collides with this point. One issue you may notice is, although I'm a circle, and I have a bounding circle, a bounding ellipse, it still acts as a box. So if you see right here, although I'm not actually colliding with the middle of the room, it says I'm already there. I have no distance. Because GameMaker will draw an invisible box around this sprite and say I'm colliding with the center. Therefore, it's zero pixels away. If you look at the top number for box, you'll see I'm 92 pixels away. That's 92 to the nearest box, which is this one. Now I'm colliding with it. But as I go to this box, the number starts to get lower again, because now it's finding that this box is closer. So it's a really good way to just check ranges. I mean, what if you had a tower defense game and you had a turret, and you wanted to know if something was in range? Well, this is one way to do it. You can use distance to object or distance to point. So just to review, if you want to find the distance to an object from this calling object, use distance to object, and just write that argument in the parentheses. Or if you just want to find a point somewhere in your room, you do distance to point. It's that simple.